um, I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart is very burdened for you. And I want to be very careful with this and it's not what I want to say, but the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in the strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. That man then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. And then he swallowed a sword. And Jesus cried, okay, Mark. Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. Okay. 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 All right. Um. So, where to start? Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on there. First of all, if you haven't seen this church again, I mentioned a little bit. Um, this is the one that has like monster trucks and yeah. wrestling matches and yeah. boxing matches and all this kind of stuff. Um, Manly man to attract yeah, men like, to the man conference. Yeah, like yeah. alpha, alpha male type stuff. Yeah. And um, so if you saw at the bottom of that clip. There was the guy I can't remember his name now, but he's he is a uh, performer. He was on America's Got Talent. Oh he's wow! A okay. Sword swallower. He does like <laughs> Alex acrobatic Madala, moves on that. on poles. And Mark saw that I think he said the day before. He said he went home, prayed all night because he it concerned him, and he used this opportunity to address it. Yeah. Right. So the pastor you saw, John Lindell, is that yeah. his name? Mm -hmm. He came up, yanked him off stage. So what do you think happened here? Who was wrong? And a lot has happened since then. I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. But um, who was wrong? What do you think about the initial conflict? I think Mark, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I, I understand the heart behind what Mark Driscoll said, but I kind of agree with the pastor too, to a certain degree. It's like, don't wait till you get on the platform in front of everybody's foot and let it be the first time I've heard about it and I'm the pastor of the church and we have a relationship. Yeah. Come to me behind the scenes and let me know how you feel about it. And if you want to speak about that, we can go up there together and say, hey, Mark shared some concerns with me about what happened during the, during the program. If anyone was offended, I want to apologize. I do have to take into consideration that some folks probably weren't pleased with what happened. It was not our intent to be, you know, Irrational or do anything wild or out of character that was something we thought was entertaining. If you were offended, we apologize. So I feel like Mark just going up there, just right off the bat, just taking them out. I don't think that was the best approach considering the grace that Mark has received in the past as well. I thought he should have been a little bit more tactful the way he handled it. And the battle rap spirit is all through 2024, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, what Pastor Lindell said. I don't know if it was in this clip. I can't remember. He said that I talked to him for 30 minutes before mm -hmm. this. He didn't say nothing about it. Yeah. So that's when I was like, Ugh. 
Probably should have. <laughs> Probably should have. I mean, you wouldn't you like if you had an issue, what, you wouldn't you wouldn't bomb first on the stage. No, I, I think I think the thing is this though. Um, you you probably wouldn't bomb first, but using his example, is he probably coming from the 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 disciples, John John the Baptist? Like they didn't ask to like, hey man, let's I'm, talk. I'm about to kill you I'm on the stage. I'm just going. I didn't like what I saw, so I'm exposed what I saw. Or well, I'm gonna talk about what I saw. Yeah, because he didn't really. He he really said this. Ain't, he said, "I'm telling you my concerns. This is my concerns of what I'm seeing. Yeah. That this happened. I, I I didn't. He said I'm not. This isn't a rebuke to. He said this is not a rebuke. He's to not a rebuke to anybody. anybody. But this is my concern. What I saw on this stage. But it is. It is. Yeah, it's a, it's a that was passive aggressive. Like yeah. that was a real rebuke. Because the pastor is in charge of the church. Yeah. So if you have you have an issue with what's being uh, what's going on, what's being done, you coming at the pastor like, bro, you should not have had this man coming here with no shirt on, swallowing with swords in front of all. So you. so my 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 um. Read of Mark Driscoll is he's kind of a loose cannon. Yeah, but was he wrong? He wasn't wrong. I don't think he was wrong. Um, I feel like a major issue we have to a certain degree is um, entertainment. Like, where do you draw the line with entertainment in the church? We have a lot of people who are entertaining but don't necessarily have a relationship with Christ that are doing a lot mm -hmm. of things in the church. Yeah, um, I don't know where that guy stands. He but said he's a Christian. He's a Christian. Mm -hmm. But you know You gotta take consideration Like taking your shirt off And climbing up poles And like For it to be alluded To be related to a strip club Or anything like that lets you know You're walking a real thin line So um, I don't think that should have been Going on in the church So I agree with Mark I just don't agree with the way You handled it Well I think I think also um, That gentleman That was Was, was doing the, the stuff he, You said he was on American Got Talent so they probably used him to like, yo, this guy was on here. He's going to do this. Mm -hmm. But I think they could have done something else to show off his strength. Because I think somebody, I think James Rain reading the post before we started talking that that it was supposed to be like a strength thing. Like he's supposed to show off strength. And that's why he took his shirt off to show strength. Blah, blah, blah. But in my mind, I'm like, you could have used that in some ways to show other ways that this man could lift something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, So if, if you give him the biggest benefit of the doubt. There's this young man who was a stripper at some point. He performed in strip clubs. Yeah. And he turned his life to Jesus and he's trying to use his talent to glorify to God. glorify God. Yeah. That's that's the best case scenario. But what <laughs> yeah. I would tell what I would tell him, the performer, is this was derived your performance is derived from strip culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You being able to do all those acrobatics yeah. was derived from those scenes, those yeah, environments. Yeah. And this this could be something people would level on hip hop. If it was derived in that environment, can you really Redeem make it, it better? Like, mm -hmm. is it just yeah. acrobatics on a pole, or is the core essence of it always going to be stripping? It could be redeemed. I think. I just think you got to keep your shirt on. Um, <laughs> you don't rip your shirt. You don't swallow our objects. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think you. Oh. <laughs> maybe you don't slide seductively down a pole. Uh, it's way like with Christian hip hop. We're giving you the gospel supposedly, or the word of God through hip hop form. It's like the form of music. Yeah. Stripping is stripping. Can't no female stripper say I've been redeemed and come in and rip her shirt off in the church? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. What if he just had a rope? You know how in gym class back in the day you had to climb a rope. And, but then, but basically, you're asking him to change his routine. Yeah. No, I'm is, saying, is what, that that what you're would, would, would y'all have been mad if something like that? I'm, I'm, I'm sh it's striking me how close this is to the the rebuke of CHH. Yeah. Are we stripping in front of people calling it godly? Is it a velvet rope? No. Because <laughs> that's I, I see people in there like that's kind of like what we're doing, right? Yeah. So is 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 there a correlation between what he's doing and what we're trying to do with Christian hip hop? Well, I think with Christian hip hop is just rapping. You're just on stage rapping. Now, if you go up on on stage and you 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 start off fully clothed and you rapping and you all of a sudden, so by it's the time a clothes thing that bothers. I think I think to me that's what I think because I'm like I think the pole. And the shirt off was a problem yeah, for What the about people. the CHH artists that rap without a shirt? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm they, like. Are you starting to see more and more Christian <laughs> yeah, hip hop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know what that's about. Like, why are y'all taking I just, just something to think about. I, don't, I haven't fully thought through it, but that was a good it, point. I saw People just chat. don't know where to draw I don't agree totally with Christian rappers not having no shirt on. Um, I don't know. I just think it's. Like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> like what, what, what doing? is the point of doing it? I feel like the Holy Spirit doesn't need help. It's okay yeah, to have yeah. different methods of ministry and different 
different things we use to try to get the gospel across to be creative or whatnot. But as far as tact and whatnot, the Holy Spirit doesn't need help. He doesn't need dramatic effect all the time for the word to go yeah. through, go go forth, I feel like. But I think I, at, at the same time, this is part, going to a men's conference can be, they trying to make it entertaining so it won't be boring. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want to be, I mean, I've been to a bunch of men's meetings at churches and you see they try to do stuff to get the men's interest versus just coming in and but talking. This, this you know is I mean? the same scenario we're talking about with um, Mike Todd, right? Are, yeah. are, are they doing too much? Are you, yeah. are you, are you so, you have so little faith in somebody's, um, uh, the the ability for the Holy Spirit to draw people yeah. that you feel like you got to put on like a like a, a show, a, yeah, a show. You could have got a Christian BMX rider to come do. They have like yeah. the extreme yeah. people who do flips on dirt bikes. Well, I would, stuff I like would that. say that that's probably who they're finding. Yeah, there's a lot of people like um, even in like the whole crossover search thing is where a lot of these ex wrestlers are Christians yeah, now, yeah, yeah. so they're trying to do their thing f- for God. Yeah. So yeah. I guess where I'm trying to figure out is like where's the line because this is, seems to be a, a topic of discussion this year of are these people doing too much? Because there's a group of Christians that look at that and say, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah. They're saying, we got to reach the people. Where's the line at? But for, for me, sometimes I feel like the people that are saying, you're doing too much, put God in a box. But then, so but like, then they're saying, see, this is no, what happens no, when what you I'm, do too much. No, but what I'm saying is, even, even in them putting God in a box, but at the same time as a church, you still have to have the wisdom to be like, Okay, why, why am I setting up a pole in yeah, the middle of the church? Yeah, yeah. so it, it's yeah. a balance because sometimes you don't want to live in a, you don't want to put God in a box because at the same time, I don't know what else he does like to, to for his Christian ministry, the the guy that was on a pole. Like if he if he if he's going around the schools and telling how his story, his testimony, yeah. and and doing like in front of kids, in front of kids, like not doing this routine, <laughs> but just. Doing like you know, I I don't know. Is he a musician? And a musician? Is he a magician? Or is he just something showing off his strength? Like you know what I'm saying? Like he could be breaking bottles or something or whatever. Oh, no, he climbs poles and sw- swallows swords. That's his thing. Showing style. <laughs> it just, it's not me. I didn't do it. It's, it's just I think the dramatic effect. Like how Mark broke it down. He said he ripped his shirt open. Yeah, he made he it sound slid crazy. down the pole and stuck a sword down his throat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when he said it like you that, were, it was just like. Now here's a here's a question. Yeah. Because of the whole Mark Driscoll debacle of stuff happened prior to this. Yeah. Is he in a right to talk? Because I've seen other people talk about that too. Yeah. Like he may not be in the right to talk because yeah. of what he did. A lot of people are like this is rich. So so yeah. uh, l- let me just <laughs> let me finish the story. So later on, John Lindell and Mark Driscoll came back on stage and they kind of had like a he basically apparently apologized. Mark Driscoll, yeah, oh, with wow. him sitting next to each other, basically saying like I shouldn't have done it that way, that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. But then later. I saw on Mark Driscoll's page you released like this almost like this song <laughs> video <laughs> about Jezebel spirits and things like that which doesn't completely make sense in this case and then John Lindell did a whole sermon about Mark Driscoll Jesus. basically showing text messages and saying Driscoll was threatening his kids and saying Damn. that his kids are wicked and one of his sons should take over for, for John and damn this control. is a straight up Kendrick Drake beef going on <laughs> yeah, in the church it's bad, Dang. man. It's bad. It's just a bad look altogether. What did the Spirit Cat Williams release on our nation? <laughs> <laughs> right, stop of the year. 